a couple of days ago, I bought the Samsung A01. Here's the box. This version comes with 16 gig internal storage and Android 10. It also comes with a micro SD card slot, which you can use to expand your storage up to 512 gigabytes. What they didn't tell me was that it looks like Samsung is now blocking the ability for you to use your SD card as internal storage. So if you go to settings and then scroll down to device care, and you can see under storage that it's 16 out of 16. The couple of days that I've used the phone, I've already maxed out the internal storage. If I click on storage, you can see that I've got an SD card. And if I select it, you can see that I've got 59.4 gigabytes of usable SD card memory. But as you can see, there's no option for me to format my SD card and use it as internal storage. In the previous versions of Android, this option was there, but it is no longer there on Android 10. At this point, I see two possible solutions. The first one, which is what we're going to do in this video, is to use the ADB commands to turn on adoptable storage on our device. And if that doesn't work, the second solution will be to root our device and then put in a custom ROM that allows us to turn our SD card into internal storage. So stay tuned for the first possible solution. The solution to enable you to use your SD card as internal storage on your Samsung A01 involves three steps. The first step is enabling developer options on your cell phone. The second step is installing the ADB platform tools on your computer. And the last step is running the ADB commands that allow you to add your SD card as adoptable storage. To enable developer options on your Samsung A01, go to settings and then scroll down to about phone. As you can see, I already have developer options set up, but if you're setting it up for the first time, just follow along. Click on about phone and then click on software information. After that, you will need to click on the build number seven times. So if I tap here, as you can see, it says no need, developer mode has already been enabled. So just tap on build number seven times to enable the developer options. Once the developer mode or the developer options are activated, just go back to settings and select it. Just click on the developer options. And then when it opens up, just scroll down until you see where it says USB debugging. As you can see, I've turned on USB debugging. So just turn it on. And obviously make sure that the developer options are on. The second thing that you have to do is to install the ADB platform tools on your computer. You might already have them installed, so to check if they are already installed, just connect your phone with your USB cable to your computer, and then allow your computer to have access to your phone. Next, open the Chrome browser, and then go to the following URL, chrome colon double forward slash inspect. Here I am in my Chrome browser, and I've just pasted in that URL, and if I press enter, you can see that it opens up and it shows devices. You might just have to wait a little bit. And then if you refresh, and as you can see, after waiting for a while, if you see your device code pop up, it means that you already have the ADB platform tools installed. If you don't get your device code here, don't worry, just follow along. To install the platform tools, you need to download them first, and you can download them from this link, which is a Google Android repository link. I've put both links in the description, so you can get them there. I'm not going to download this because I have already downloaded it. So I'm just gonna click on cancel. But as you can see here, I already have the platform tools downloaded. Now just go to your download location and then extract the zip file. So just select it, right click, and then select extract to platform tools. After it's done extracting, you might want to move it to a more easy to remember folder. So I'm just gonna to go to my C drive and then create a new folder, which I'm going to call ADB. And then I'm going to go back to my downloads and select this extracted folder, cut it, and then put it in that ADB folder. Now we'll move on to the last part, which is to run the ADB commands that allow us to use the SD card as internal storage. So just open command prompt by typing CMD in the search bar. Once it opens up, we need to navigate to the platform tools folder in our ADB folder. So I just need to go back to C drive, and then navigate to ADB, Platform Tools, and then Platform Tools again. Once in Platform Tools, I can start writing the ADB commands. The first command that I'm going to write is called ADB Devices, which allows us to see if our device is attached to the ADB tools. So I'm going to type in ADB Devices. I expect to see my device as the result. As you can see, under the list of devices, my device is attached. If you compare this number, R9 and ending in XJ with the one that we saw in Chrome, it should be the same. 
And as you can see, the number is the same. Before we go any further, I just want to show you something that we will use to verify if you manage to use our SD card as internal storage. So just go to settings and then device care and then select storage. Just notice the difference here. Right now, our SD card is still being shown here and then we've got the advanced options. If I click on advanced, you can see that the device storage is 16 gig and I've used 16 gig out of 16 gig and also the SD card is being shown under portable storage. If we successfully use the SD card as internal storage, our total device storage will now be 8 gig. That is the 16 gig that comes with the device plus the 64 gig that is my micro SD card and there'll be nothing under portable storage. Now let's go back to our command prompt. The next thing that we need to do is to type in adb shell so that we don't have to put adb shell before every command. So just type in adb shell and press enter. As you can see, we are now in the adb shell. The first command that we're gonna type in the shell is sm list disks adoptable. This will basically list your SD card disk ID, which we will use later. So just press enter. And as you can see, my disk ID is 179,64. The second command that we're gonna type in the shell is sm set force adoptable to true. This allows you to use your SD card as internal storage. Just press enter. And as you can see, there is no output for this command. Now we need to format and partition our SD card for internal use by typing in the following command, which is SM partition disk and your disk ID followed by private. Private allows you to use the entire SD card as internal storage. So what I need to do here is to change disk ID and put in my actual disk ID, which is 179,64. And I also need to put in semicolon after disk. If you want to leave some space on the SD card to use as external storage, instead of private, you would put in mixed with a number. For example, I can put in mixed 40. The 40 means that 40% of my SD card will be left to be used as external storage and only 60% will be used as internal storage. I'm gonna just remove this and then type in private again because I want to use 100% of my SD card as internal storage and then press enter. It can take a bit of time depending on your SD card as well as the size. And as you can see, there's no output that is given when the command completes. The final command that we're going to type in the shell is SM set force adoptable to false. This basically closes the adoptable option. With this, you are done configuring your SD card to be used as internal storage. And all you have to do is reboot or restart your phone. After you restart your phone, just go to settings, device care, and then select storage. As you can see here, it's still saying 16 out of 16 gig. It looks like it didn't work, but it actually did. Just click on storage. And then as you can see, we no longer have the SD card option here. And then just click on advanced. And as you can see, our device storage is now 8 gig, which is the 16 gig that came with the phone and the 64 gig that is being provided by my SD card. I've put in the ADB commands as well as the link to the SD card that I'm using in the description below. Please let me know in the comments below if this worked for you. Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.